Hey, what's going on guys? Phil here from Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on the YouTube, and today I'm bringing you the top five tires uh, that we got on the website. So we did this video uh, a while back, like two years ago when Sean was still in the videos, but it was like 30 minutes long, and that's just way too long to learn about tires. So I wanted to make this just because there's not a lot of videos out there where you get to compare all five of these side by side to kind of see the differences, pros and cons of each, and we're just gonna go over that and bring it to you. So uh, these are in no particular order, but I'm gonna start on the left-hand side. This is the Aturo Trail Blade MT. So Aturo has an entire lineup of off-road uh, truck tires. This is the MT, which is the, it's not the most aggressive, it's one step below that. Uh, these are all gonna be, like I said, MTs or mud tires. So the uh, Trail Blade Boss here, uh, this is a 35 by 12 and a half R20. I got all the same sizes so you can see them all side by side and get a good comparison. These guys are gonna come in uh, just over a thousand bucks, like 1,076 right around there. Load range E, 121 load index. So it's all the stuff that you expect uh, from your standard 35 inch mud tire. Now these don't come with a warranty. In fact, none of these come with a warranty other than the manufacturer's warranty, simply because it's an off-road tire, it's a mud tire, they know what you're gonna use them for, so they don't give you your typical like uh, tread wear warranty that you'd usually see. But if you have some sort of uh, weird defect or weird wear going on, that's when that manufacturer's warranty is gonna kick in, you can get a replacement. So when it comes to actual measurements, uh, everybody always wonders, what's the true measurement come out to for the width? So on the Aturo Trailblade MT, if I measure seam to seam here, Looking about 12 and a quarter, which is pretty typical for your 12 and a half inch um, wide wheel. As far as design goes on this, you can see really large shoulder blocks here with tons of spacing on the side. So that's going to give you good evacuation if you're in any sort of uh, deep sand, mud, or whatnot. That's going to all kick out of there, bigger rocks, things like that. And the center section is also relatively wide as well. Uh, bigger downfall of that is just road noise, but if you're looking for something really aggressive that's going to cut through that thicker mud, this is going to be a good option for you. Uh, when it comes to sidewall, pretty aggressive sidewall on here as well. So what a lot of people are looking for is that nice aggressive sidewall so that even from the side your truck is still looking mean uh, as well as that matching tread then to kind of go with that. So like I said, 35, 12 and a half R20. This is available in a ton of different sizes uh, for your leveled and lifted applications. So a good option for you if you're looking to get in for a lower price point. So a lot of people are wondering, are Toro is good for the money? And I gotta say, on the couple of demo sets we've ran, I would definitely pay the $1,000 for a set of four of these. It also does include free shipping, and we do uh, mountain balances for free as well. If you get them on a wheel and tire package, uh, as long as you're in the lower 48 states, that'll all come with that. So moving from the uh, trail blade to the RBP Repulsor. So this is not as popular of a tire. Uh, it's a relatively newer tire, so not a ton of people out there running it, but RBP has been huge in the SEMA show scene for a very long time. So they made their wheels, they made lift kits, they decided it was time to start making tires too. So uh, they've got the Repulsor MT. Styling wise on this one, you're gonna see it's a lot more of a directional pattern where everything is kind of angled towards the center in a V shape. Again, huge shoulder blocks with uh, lots of gaps here. Uh, and then same kind of similar styling as the Aturo as far as the center goes. Still lots of uh, good separation. So if you're running these through anything deep, uh, you can definitely make it out just fine. So these also, are relatively good price point as well. So these are gonna be 1,050 for the set of four, load range E, 121 load index, all the stuff you expect, kind of like I mentioned before. The one thing to note here, <coughs> as far as tread depth goes, this is a 16 30 seconds, uh, whereas like the Trailblade MT is gonna be 20 30 seconds, so not quite as deep, a little less rubber here. And then I did notice in comparison too, when I measure this one seam to seam, it's only about 11 and a half inches, maybe 11 and three quarters. So they do kind of get you a little bit narrower tire, which isn't always a bad thing. If you're trying to fit uh, 35s on like a six inch lifted Chevy with 12 wides, uh, it's kind of difficult to fit, but these are a little more narrow. You can get them on there a little easier. Or if you're trying to go for that stretched look, uh, you can obviously accomplish that as well. As far as sidewall goes on here, we'll give you a look at that. This is a much more like Baja inspired look, I would say, with a very straight cut sidewall. Uh, so you can see still plenty of shoulder block there sidewall tread as well so it still keeps a nice aggressive look uh, but just kind of more of a if you've ever seen a desert race truck that's kind of what the sidewalls of their tires look like moving down the line we step up to Nitto obviously Nitto and Toyo you guys have heard of before uh, big name brands in the truck tire industry this is the Trail Grappler MT <clears throat> again like I said same as all the other ones 35 by 12 and a half R20 these are a little more expensive uh, at 1548 for the set of four at the current pricing. 
So you do pay a little bit more, but you kind of do get a little better quality too. And I also was just recently down at the Toyo manufacturing plant in White, Georgia, where they make the Toyo tires and the Nitto tires. So made in the States, which is really cool. You probably weren't expecting an ad right in the middle of the video, and by now you've probably tried to click the skip button and realize that you can't. Let me run it through what we got going on here. 10% off spacers, 15% off spike lug nuts and spike valve stem caps. We got 15% off gear, so we got like hats. We got like hoodies. We got like t-shirts, you know what I mean? I'm saying like, because I'm one of those young kids. Uh, shine too, 50% off that as well. Thanks for the rag. Good on your wheels, tires, and your shoes. That's why we call it shoe shine. They have plants elsewhere, just like everybody. They've got plants in uh, like China and Taiwan, other places like that too. But the open country lineup uh, and the Nitto trail grapplers are made here in the States, which is pretty cool. Um, same thing, 121 load index, load range E. Like I said, they're all the same there. This one does have a little deeper tread at uh, 21, 30 seconds. So that's nice as you get a little more rubber out of these. You are paying a little bit more for it. So it's nice as you get a little extra. When it comes to true measured width, seam to seam, looking at about 12 and a quarter. Again, like I mentioned before, that's pretty standard when it comes to a 12 and a half inch wide tire. Uh, that's what the true measurement comes out to. One thing unique about the trail grapple here is it has two different sidewalls. So there's a, <coughs> excuse me, a less aggressive sidewall and a more aggressive sidewall. So on one side, you've got your straight cuts. And on the opposite side, uh, it's just a little uh, variance to that where there's a little more rubber, a little more action going on the side, so it's a little more aggressive. You can select which side you prefer out when you do order on the website. Style-wise, as far as the tread goes, huge gaps, huge shoulder blocks, tons of rubber, um, nice separation in the center as well, so definitely a good tire for an off-road application. But we do see good wear out of these down the highway as well. So if you're somebody who wants that mud tire look but still needs to get good mileage out of it, you can spend a little bit extra, jump up to the Nittos, and expect you know, at least 40, 45,000 miles out of the trail grapplers. So on the opposite end of the spectrum, then we have the Federal Karaja MT. So what I mean by opposite is this tire is actually very, very affordable. For a set of four of these, you're looking at only about 850 bucks in the 35 by 12 and a half, even cheaper obviously as you get down in sizing, a little more expensive as you go up. So these tires kind of had, I guess I'm gonna say a little bit of a bad name for a while because people bought them and they're like, holy cow, these things are loud. But at the same time, for $850, this tire does exactly what you need it to do. It still has all the same ratings as the previous tires. 121 load index, load range E, 21 30 seconds tread depth. So you still get plenty of rubber to go off road. Wow, way to go. So you still get plenty of rubber to actually get some use out of these. I actually uh, put a set of these on my truck at one point in time and I gotta say, they did exactly what I needed them to do. I've said it in videos before, and people always ask, well, what do you mean by that? It means that I wanted aggressive mud tires. I didn't want to spend a whole lot of money. This gave me the look that I want, and I got through plenty of stuff with it. I had this little beater Ford Ranger that we put them on that I only had for like two weeks just to make a video, uh, and it, it did pretty well, even though it was like very low on power, very beat up, still got through a ton of stuff. Um, shoulder lugs are absolutely massive on here tons of spacing. In the center section too, you're gonna see basically these three grooves that go down the whole tire. And they got these claw-like pieces in the middle that just really grab on and they do a pretty decent job. Now, like I mentioned, downfall is they are a little bit louder on the highway, but anytime you step up to a mud tire that's this aggressive, you're going to get that. We've ran these on uh, the Avalanche that we've had. We've had them on a ton of different vehicles, simply because if you're looking for like the most aggressive appearing tire, this is a really good option for you if you don't step up to like a trail blade uh, boss or a mud grappler. When it comes to true measurements on the Karaja, you're looking at about 12 and a half if you go all the way seam to seam, which is something that's kind of unseen in the tire industry that it actually measures out to true sizing. So that's kind of cool there. Uh, did also forget to show you the sidewall, so let me wheel this out here. Sidewall is uh, less aggressive than you might expect, just based on the tread on top. Pretty simple kind of design elements around the outside rather than something that's actually gonna have uh, some side grip if you aired these things down or run it through some rocks or what have you. So, moving then from the Federal Karaja MT to the Toyo Open Country MT. Like I mentioned before, I was just down at the Toyo plant uh, and got to see how these things are made. One thing that I didn't realize before is the uh, Open Country lineup is made seamless. So rather than wrapping the tread around this, uh, what they call a green tire, they actually are making the whole thing, extruding the rubber right onto the drum, and then taking the whole thing as one piece and putting it in the press 
to get this design and this tread pattern. So that's something kind of cool and interesting that I just didn't know, so I figured I'd share it with you guys as well. Open Country MT, uh, again, a little bit more expensive for the bigger name brand tires. 1800 bucks for these guys for a set of four of them. 121 load index, load range E, uh, and again, 21 30 seconds on the tread depth. So you do get nice deep tread on here. Same thing as the Nittos. You can expect a lot of mileage out of these for a mud tire. Again, not uncommon to see at least 40,000 out of these guys. If you need more mileage, I'd step down to like a, a hybrid tire or an RT tire. We've got videos on those too as well. We'll push those out, top five of those uh, also. So, true measurements. <coughs> I'm dying. I'm literally dying. You're looking at kind of the same 12 and a quarter, 12 and a half that you'd see on the Nittos uh, as well. And then design emblems, same kind of thing that you're seeing. It's a mud tire. They've got big angular shoulder blocks. And then these guys have a ton of like hooks and angles on the center section uh, that kind of does set them apart from some of the other guys on here. Uh, so just something to note there. As far as sidewall goes, wheel it out here. A nice aggressive sidewall on here as well with some design element in it. So it's not just big pieces of rubber slapped on the side. It is angular, it's got this Z cut into it. So it kind of gives it a nice rolling appearance as well. So those are the top five tires, top five mud tires uh, that are on the site right now that people are snatching up. So if you want to grab a set for your truck, can't make a decision on which one you want. Hopefully this helped you kind of see them side by side, pros and cons of each one. You can check them out, customoffsets.com. We got them all listed up there. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. I'm pulling for Custom Offsets. Peace.